beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. There is a passion in God to communicate himself. God is, is, is not only looking for us, but is looking for us with a certain energy and passion and eagerness. And, and uh, even in Isaiah, it says, God says through Isaiah that he, he desires Israel like a bridegroom on his wedding night uh, 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 who's married a, a lovely lady and so so there's, there's, this is not a thought. This is a, a real emotional eagerness and passion to share and to be loved in return, as is certainly implied. And then, uh, then again, at, at, uh, on the night of Christ's resurrection, when he visits the disciples upstairs in the room, he first says, peace be to you. And he shows them his wounds. Then he said it again, peace be to you. And peace is like a divine kiss. And then he breathed on them. This is a very significant symbol because the breath is, is, is uh, uh, he clarifies it in case there's any doubt, receive the Holy Spirit. So, so the, the kiss has become even more passionate, you might say, in the spiritual sense, because it, and, and the giving of the spirit is the interpenetration of spirits. It's the consummation of the love moment, of the marriage, of the conjugal experience of union with God that is described as the spiritual marriage, which again is, is is, is not enough <laughs> if you, there's more. <laughs> there's always more in this relationship with God. And so in, uh, in, in, the, in some of the other world traditions and in, and in the cr Jewish Christian, there is this idea that be of non-duality, that the, that the marriage moves ever deeper levels of, of, of selfless love, of agapic love, of service of one another. So the oneness of, of the uh, continuing experience of loving with fidelity and trust and love begins to move into a unity consciousness in which the presence of God and us are not distinct anymore. But uh, this is, is uh, presupposes that after the transforming union, a new level of Christian life opens up that is meant to go further to a, from a union, as wonderful as that is with the God, to a, a, a unity in which God takes over the faculties more and more. So then there's no I, then there's no me, then there's a, this an identity, I suppose. But it, it doesn't have the same interest anymore, so that all self-interest is transformed into abandonment to the divine will and, and, the, and the openness to manifesting it. So, so this is heaven on earth, that's for sure, but it's extremely down to earth, and it doesn't need extraordinary consolations, or still less visions or things. It's just leading ordinary life from this extraordinary perspective of, of, of allowing God to manifest in us rather than ego or false self or anything else. There seems to be an, an intent or a plan in creation to bring the manifestation of the unknowable one into forms of uh, 
relationship that awakens in us the greater capacity to love 